Hello, I'm Dr. Aaron Baggish, Associate Director of the Cardiovascular Performance Program at the Massachusetts General Hospital here in Boston. I'm pleased to spend some time with you discussing results of a recent research study which we published in this week's New England Journal of Medicine examining cardiac arrest cases during marathon and half marathon running races. Long distance running races have gained increasing popularity over the last decade and this popularity has reached an all time high. In 2010, there were more, more than 2 million individuals in our country that participated in these sanctioned events. Along with increasing participation has come numerous reports of cardiac arrest cases in conjunction with these events. In an attempt to understand this phenomenon, we conducted the first large-scale comprehensive assessment of cardiac arrest cases during long-distance running races. Our findings, as published in this week's New England Journal of Medicine, can be summarized as followed. First, we found that the risk of a cardiac arrest during marathon and half marathon racing is relatively low when compared to other forms of athletics, including college athletics, recreational triathlon, and even casual jogging. Second, we found that male marathon runners are the highest risk population and account for the majority of cardiac arrest cases. Third, we found that when a runner goes down during one of these races, it is almost always due to underlying heart disease, which most likely could have been detected before the race. And finally, and most importantly, we found that the initiation of bystander CPR is the most important determinant of survival. This is an important finding because it provides us with an actionable item. To put this item into action, we are planning to offer the first CPR education course for Boston Marathon runners in conjunction with the 2012 race. I invite you to participate in this exciting event. If you're interested further in this study, I direct you to this week's New England Journal of Medicine, the January 12th edition. Thank you for your attention.